I am Anil Kumar and here is question number 18, multiple choice coordinate geometry. A line has an x intercept of 12 and y intercept of minus 4. What is the shortest distance from 0, 0 to this line? I like you to pause the video and then answer this question. Here is my solution. Let us say we sketch this graph for the situation x intercept is 12, y intercept is minus 4. Let us say this is units of 4. So we have 1, 2, 3, right? So that is the kind of situation. We can join these points and that will give us the line. Let's say this is the line, right? So this line is given to us where x intercept is 12 and y intercept is minus 4. What is the shortest distance from 0, 0 to this line? Now 0 is right there, so we have to find the shortest distance from the origin to this line. How are you going to find it? Well, the shortest distance is going to be also a perpendicular line going through origin and crossing this line. So let's find the slope, equation of the perpendicular, and the point where it should intersect the line. That should help, right? So find slope first. So the slope of given line is rise over run, which is in this case 4 and run is 12. So it is 4 over 12, positive 1 over 3. Now the right bisector of this will have, so the perpendicular slope will be negative reciprocal, so it is minus 3. Now we know it goes through origin. Therefore, equation of the perpendicular should be, let us say this is the perpendicular, let us say the perpendicular is kind of like this, then equation of this line going through O and intersecting somewhere at P on this, let's say this intersects at point P. So line OP can be given by Y equals to here, Clearly, y intercept is 0 and slope is minus 3. Therefore, the equation of this line is minus 3x. Okay? Now, what is the equation of the given line? Slope is 1 over 3, y intercept is minus 4. So, slope of given line is y equals to, I mean, the equation of the line is y equals to 1 over 3x minus 4. Right? So, these are the two equations. This is perpendicular to the other line. We need to find point of intersection. So let us replace y with minus 3x. So we have minus 3x equals to 1 over 3x minus 4. Now let's solve for it. So we have minus 9x equals to x minus 12. And x is, we bring this on this side. So we get 12 equals to 8x, right? And x, therefore, is equal to 12 over 8, right? So let's solve it on the side. So we get the value of x as equal to 8 over 12, or approximately, or because these units are also in, in fractions. So 8 over 12 will mean we can divide both by 4. So it it is 3 over 2. So x value is 3 over 2. So if x is 3 over 2, then the y value should be minus 3 times x, so which is minus 9 over 2. So that is the coordinate points for x and y for p, right? So we get the point p here, and for us p is 3 over 2 minus 9 over 2. Now the distance from the origin will be equals to square root of the square. So square of this will be 9 over 4 plus square of this will be 81 over 4 square root, correct? So when you add them up, you get, you can take 1 over 2 outside and inside the bracket it will be 90 square root, right? So 90 square root divided by 2. Approximately we can find the answer. 90 is also, uh, let's find out the square root of 90, right? 
square root of 90 is equal to 3 square root 10 and uh, divided by 2 will give us 3 square root 10 divided by 2 is 4.74 4.74 right so 4.74 is less than 5 very close to square root of 24 right so that is our answer 24 so 24 less to square root of 24 and check it which is equals to 4.89 so square root of 24 is 4.89 so we get which is very close to D the answer is 4.74 for us okay so that is the right answer for us so that is how we can find the answer I hope it helps